and welcome to the Fairview Crescent room tour and this is sort of the layout that you can expect a typical unit at Fairview Crescent to look like. So let's get on into the tour and I'm very excited to show you around. Alright so at the entrance we have my command hooks. I brought my tennis racket to play at the tennis courts nearby and we have a thermostat where you can change the temperature to your pleasing but recently because of the colder temperatures the heat actually stopped working well so it was around 15 degrees in my room at one point i had gotten a portable heater just in time before they ran out to help with the lower temperatures this is my laundry hamper we have a garbage and a recycling here we have I just help keep a box full of plastic bags. There is a spare door, don't ask me where it goes. This is a closet. Before moving in, I had seen a tour. The girl had mentioned there is no door. There is in fact no door, but I brought some storage shelves and there are three cubbies. I brought my jackets with me, warm jackets of course. I have my suitcases tucked under there. I brought my figure skates because there's also a quick skating rink here and some workout bands and equipment in that box. I bought this fan off of Amazon and I would say that this is a must have because it does get stuffy here in here, especially in August, September, and there is no AC in this room. This little mirror is from an event that we had and we had actually gotten these for free from the residence. Actual bed itself, it, it is a twin XL, which is a little bit unusual. But thankfully, I was able to get one off of Amazon for a really good price. I brought my three blankets. I would recommend bringing more blankets than you would think you need just because of, you know, in the winter, you never know when you need that extra blanket when the heating stops working and you could always take some off. I actually really enjoy living at Fairview Crescent. It's one of those residences that has a homey feel. And I live with three other roommates. One of them is a master's student, one of them is a varsity athlete, and one of them is an international student from China. The unit also comes with four shelves. So you have one, two, and then three and four. The unit already came with some hooks. I think the previous resident actually put some hooks on here, so I didn't add any new ones but I use them to hang up my umbrella, my purses. I also bought a yoga mat because there is free yoga on Wednesdays and Sundays, I believe, for residents. This little cork board with some of the information about the residents. So like I mentioned, there are these four shelves. I just use it to, uh, for my personal belongings. I prop up my mirror on here to get ready in the morning and I bought this shelf from ikea it's really good to store my boots professional boots some hiking wear some warm slippers um so i, I did bring a lot of shoes for the d many occasions in this vancouver climate top part is also really useful just to store just random things and yeah i recommend bringing a lot of cubbies or like little boxes to store your things you can never have too many in terms of like the charging outlets there are i think two or three in the room there's one over here and i recommend buying one of those extension cords from amazon and then this was the portable heater that i was able to rent the windows in this room are actually pretty spacious and my view is actually on a nearby housing complex it's not a residence building it's just a private apartment complex it's a very kind of peaceful street there's a lot of greenery there's a tree right outside here it's very nice seeing it change colors in the fall but i did buy some plants in a nearby plant store like a couple minutes away from my house how cute and in terms of the desk i would say this is a pretty spacious desk it has three storage cabinets and the room comes with this chair i bought a back support for this chair but it doesn't really work that well i will be honest but one thing to note that <laughs> this is a rocking chair so please be very careful it surprised me even though i knew about it i always find myself falling back in terms of other things that come with the unit this lamp comes with the unit which is really helpful there's another outlet over here if you decide to get an internet which i do recommend there are the internet cables i had a hard time figuring it out but I think one of these is the correct ones. I can't remember which one now. My roommates and I now share an internet because she had actually bought one for, for her previous unit. This is my reminder to save money. <laughs> 
like I was saying before, this bed is pretty comfortable. I would say it is springy, but it is possible to sleep without a, a mattress topper. But I do know people tend to get mattress toppers just for personal preference. I use this storage that comes with the unit as well as a bed stand. It, even though it doesn't have that much space, the bottom shelf has like all my underwear and socks. And then the top shelf stores my other miscellaneous items like tweezers. I don't know, just random stuff. My sleep mask, my earplugs. Another life hack is just because you're rooming with a couple of roommates, it can get loud, especially if you sleep on a different sleeping schedule. So getting some earplugs and a sleeping mask is a must. So yeah, this is my little room tour of my cozy Fairview Crescent unit. This is a large unit, so I know the smaller ones do have a little bit less space, but I purposefully chose the larger unit just because I like to breathe. I like the air. Another thing I missed showing you is the windows. They don't have any mosquito nets, so these I actually purchased myself on Amazon. It's installed with like the magnet and the little um, clip-on stuff, which you know, I got them for around $30. It was worth it. But you can actually open the windows, which helps a lot in the summer and even the winter because it does even get stuffy. In terms of the blinds, they do tend to fall off. So I kind of just like to keep them in one spot. I don't fiddle around with them too much. But this, this really big window is nice. And yeah, that is it. I think if your classes are really close to Fairview Crescent, it is a really good spot to live. I was only able to secure this spot because my program, I'm in med school, they have priority for first year students. They have priority that everyone gets a spot in the residence, but you did have to apply for that, I think a couple months in advance. And only then I was able to secure this spot. The residence waitlist at UBC's are extremely long. So please apply months and months in advance. There is a sense of community here. I've made friends at these events. We've had Eastern European night, something I've never heard of ever. <laughs> and we had some pumpkin painting events. We had different kinds of social gatherings, artistic gatherings. We, paint, we had paint night where I had painted a painting and then we got that mirror. It's just a really nice place to live outside of just your room, right? You have those amenities in that kind of community center. So let me show you the rest of the house. Now that I'm leaving my room, you can see my other two roommates' rooms. And on the left here, we have the bathroom. The bathroom is pretty spacious. There is a bathtub, one bathtub in this house. It has a shower, a nice little sink, a vanity, a mirror. And we have our chore schedule just to make sure that we are staying accountable and keeping our place clean. It's very bright in here. There's a storage unit where you can store all your, you know, face washes, all your cosmetics. Leaving the washroom, there are these stairs and basically, you know, our unit is spread on like three floors or two floors to be exact, but not all the units are like that. So some units are just on the basement and some units are like this where they're more of a townhome style. But you can see the door here and then we have the second washroom, which doesn't have a shower, but it still has a toilet and it has that vanity. And there's also a nice little closet there where we can keep our cleaning supplies. The unit comes with a vacuum comes with a mop and a broom. This is our kitchen. So I would say Fairview is has a really good kitchen. There is a dishwasher, there is an oven, there is a refrigerator, a microwave, a vent as well. I think it really has all the essentials and more. I feel like a dishwasher is kind of a luxury. And we have our garbage and recycling, our refrigerator. It is a bit small for four people. And I know the larger six person units have two fridges but there is a lot of storage in our kitchen we have a dining table and a dining area and just a place where we can chill with couches and this is honestly more than enough space for four people but yes thank you so much for tuning in i'm so happy i was able to show you my room tour and my residence tour at ubc's fairview crescent I hope to see you in the next video